What is up guys, this is Space Grip the Knight here to bring you a tutorial for players new to Robocraft. Today we will be going through some of the basics and help new players understand Robocraft's build functionality as well as UI navigations and setting up your key bindings. If you have any questions relating to this tutorial, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will be glad to answer them. If you are a veteran Robocrafter, feel free to leave some tips in the comments and I will highlight them with hearts. So without further ado, let's get started. After logging into Robocraft, you will receive a daily crate if you have it. These crates are essential to progression as far as collecting parts and earning the in-game currency known as Robits. The bottom row items are yours to collect, but the top row items are locked unless you have premium membership, which we will dive into later on. Once you have collected your fine loot, you will be presented with the almighty masterpiece of the robot selection screen. The bottom slots display your robots. This is where you can select the robot in order to edit and use for battle. You can add a bay if you want to create another robot, or browse robots which takes you to the factory screen. The factory is a place where all user created robots are sold and can be purchased with robots. Press escape and we will be placed back to the robot selection screen. Now let's focus on the play button. This will open a library of options which includes editing your robot, testing your robot, tutorial mode which I would highly recommend after this video. Play versus AI, which will take you to a team deathmatch against AI bots. Battle Arena, which is sort of a 5v5 domination mode where you capture to earn points along with opportunities to steal points from the enemy base. There is more to it, but we'll save that for another video. League Arena is a ranked version of Battle Arena, which matches you with other players near your MMR, also known as your matchmaking rating. Brawl, which is a mode that changes based off of events that Free Jam put out. The current one is Elimination 5v5, which is a last man standing mode. A month from now, it could change to Super Speed mode or Low Gravity. It's an ongoing change that happens from time to time. Custom mode, which is currently locked and still under development, but the mode is self-explanatory. Lastly, Team Deathmatch, which is a mode I highly recommend new players to play to get a feel for the game. It is a 5v5 mode where both teams try to reach 25 kills. It's basic, but it will help with getting a grasp on how to battle other players and learning about what weapons are more successful in combat. Since today we are learning about building, we will be selecting Edit Robot. Now you are in your homeland with you and your robot. Is this a lot to learn so far? It's okay, we're, we're almost done, almost. When editing your robot, you will have access to different features such as building, coloring, and inventory access. The device on your right hand is a cube manipulator. It's a tool to help you build, but for now let's explore your items. Press Q to open your inventory. This is your inventory of items. As you can see, we are just starting off, so we don't have much items. Looking at the top panel, there is a recycler button and a forge button. The recycler is your tool to breaking down parts from your inventory into robots, in which I will demonstrate the process for you on screen. Forge is where you can create parts with your robots. These parts will then be stored in your inventory so you can use on your robot. Let's stay on the Forge panel to show you the library of items. The left panel helps categorize items in all three modes of Inventory, Recycler, and Forge. Chassis parts are used to create the body of the robot. Movement contains all your movement parts such as wheels, thrusters, legs, and much more. Hardware contains all your weapons and electro shields. Special parts are very special parts that gives you different abilities for your robot. Some items help with recon on your radar, while others help with providing a temporary shield, blinking towards a long distance, and much more. 
You may also be wondering by now what's with all the colors on each part. These are based off of rarity, which goes in hand with how many row bits is needed to forge that part. As you can see, these parts are quite pricey, but I don't recommend buying them right away, as you still need a decent bot to make these items useful. Last but not least, we have cosmetic parts. These parts help with decorating your robot with hollow flags, mask, and other parts that have some use such as the speedometer to show you how fast you are going, and an altimeter to show your altitude. Let's press escape for now and mess around with our starter bot so you can understand how to build. Moving around is simple, except for those that like using the shift key to move down. The default way to move downward is the left control key. You can use the space bar to move upward and WASD to move around. To place a part down, you can use your left mouse button. Placing it on the ground where it is not attached to the robot will make it red, meaning you cannot take it to a battle or test it until it is removed. Press the right mouse button to delete the object you are looking at. Let's say I don't like the way this weapon is placed, and I want to move it to another place. We could delete it and go to our inventory, then place it again but that can be a lot of work going back and forth, especially later on when there's all sorts of parts to mess around with. A shortcut to this is by pressing your middle mouse wheel. This will select the object on your crosshair and tell your device that you want to build with that part. Now, you can delete the weapon with the right mouse click and place it in another spot. If you wanna rotate the object, you can also use the middle mouse wheel to rotate it. Because this bot is symmetrical, meaning both sides are exactly the same, we can mirror it when building. Press M to toggle on mirror mode. You will see the red line on the floor as well as the part being mirrored on the other side. Let's go back to focusing on our starter bot and move all sorts of parts around until we are satisfied. Done. Not the best modifications, but we are just starting. As we unlock more parts and gain more robots, we can build more. Press the number 2 key on your keyboard to access your coloring tool. This is completely optional as far as coloring your robot. We can left click to paint. Move the middle mouse wheel to change colors, or hold the right mouse button to paint the whole robot into one color. Premium members have access to all colors, but for now we have access to four colors. Now that we have completed the basics in building, let's test this robot. Press T on your keyboard to test. Depending on which starter bot you have chosen to use, your robot may have different ways of moving. Use WASD to move around. If you have a mech, you can press the spacebar to jump and left control key to crouch. If you have a flyer, you can use those keys to control your pitch and row movement. If you have a hover, you can increase or decrease your hover height. There are lots of combinations that can change the way you move, so testing comes in handy. Your bottom UI will have your weapon slash special items loadout. In this game, you can have multiple weapons, but only one weapon can be active at once. You can switch by pressing the numbers those weapons are assigned. Press and hold the left mouse button to shoot. You can press the right mouse button to zoom in. This helps with picking off parts that other robots have. Your weapons run on energy, which is shown near your crosshairs. Most starter bots use low amounts of energy, which is heavily based on your weapons and amount of CPU. The higher weapon rarities tend to use the most energy, while weapons like these have low damage but high fire rate allowing you to consistently deal damage. If you are ever stuck in an upside down position, you can flip your robot by pressing F. This will pick up your robot and make it stand upright. 
Your bottom left UI shows your health and auto regen timer, which is shown after taking damage. And that is all the testing we need to do now. Let's press escape and exit test mode. Now, press escape and go back to the main menu. Now, let's take a breather. We have gone through a lot in one sitting, which can be hard to digest at first, but over time, it's all about the key bindings. If you know the hotkeys, navigating through different places can be easy. You can also customize them to your liking. Press escape, then click on controls. This is your library of key setups. If you want to adjust them, simply click on the binding and then press the key you want to bind it to. The navigation menu also has key binds, so feel free to mess around with whatever makes you comfortable. Click OK when you're done, and there you have it. The basics of Robocraft. The next tutorial will be featuring combat where we will play some team deathmatch and show you the importance of awareness as well as what parts of a robot you should shoot first. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Leave your questions in the comments and I will do my best to help. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Space Crypt the Night logging out. I will catch you guys later.